for a STEM camp that we run, and for the sake of our students, we put a human hair in the scanning electron microscope in order to demonstrate zoom and the kind of resolution that you can get with one of these machines. In this case, we're looking at my hair, which you can't see, but my hair is curly and rather large, so I use a leave-in conditioner and a curl cream in an effort to keep it under control, which is why you're looking at the hair here with its scales, which you can see better and better as we zoom in. We're at about 1550 right now. And then these little white flecks, these are my hair care products. That's not why we're showing you this. We're showing you this to demonstrate charging. Now on this sample in particular, because hair is an insulator, charging is gonna occur really quickly. This is where a pool of electrons builds up on your sample because it's not conductive and there's nowhere for it to go. There's no path for it to flow off of. When it happens varies from sample to sample, but because hair is an insulator, it happens fairly quickly. I'm gonna show you now what that means. I'm zooming in here at about 3,100, still no problem. 6,100, still no problem. Now I'm up at 13,000 and keep an eye on this for a moment. It's very subtle, but it's starting to churn a little bit and blur. And that's not just the focus, that's actually the electrons building up in there. So I'm gonna zoom out and show you this has now created a little damaged area in the hair shaft. This is something we don't want to happen. It's bad for the sample and it's bad for the machine. And we avoid this by when we prep the sample, either sputter coating it with carbon or gold, or if you don't have a sputter coater available, you can mount it and then paint it with colloidal graphite or colloidal silver. When you're looking at a sample in an SEM, you have to strike a balance between how high a magnification you want, so you can resolve the details you want to see, and what that sample can handle. And it varies from sample to sample. Human hair in particular charges really quickly. Stop it, it varies from sample to sample, because I already said it's an insulator.